Okay, fellas, you see before you hear something, then you're going to cringe, okay? You see it, Falls City Beer. Let me tell you guys, this is not your daddy's or your granddaddy's Falls City Beer that you were stealing out of the back of the garage when you was 10 years old. This beer is very good. Now, it is pricey. It's $9.00 which is to say I'm never going to buy it again because it's not worth the price. I can get beer that I like better for $9. But anyway, let's talk about it for a second. This is called Kentucky Common, so that's a sweet name, right? All right, it's a little bit dark, um, and it's got some bitter bite to it. But it, So it's, it's, a, it's kind of like a, you know, a European beer knockoff. All right, I drank all these. They were, they were very tasty. English style, English style, what else, what else we got here? There's Kentucky Tum. They tasted pretty much the same to me. Alright. They're a quite tasty beer. Don't put them in the same category with the Paps Blue Ribbon. Because they used to be in the same category. Your granddaddy drank these beers, your daddy drank these beers, and you stole these beers. When, you got, when they got home from fishing, you snuck them out of the boat like I did. When you was a kid, because your mama didn't know. All right, if you want to try them, try them. They are definitely, you might like them. They've got a good spot in your refrigerator if you want to put them somewhere. Um, I got nothing bad to say about them except for they're, they're too pricey to have a name like Fall City. You know, they should have a better name if they're gonna try to sell it for $9. The, the Fall City name is just already run for, from ages past. All right, give them a look if you want to. Give me a like. Bottoms up. Happy hour has arrived. Bye-bye.